Hey folks, Quilly Team here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Surviving Mars. We're doing uh, Russia with the uh, 500 plus percent difficulty challenge to see if we can uh, get an achievement for ourselves. We currently have a bit of a shortage of electronics. We have 33 electronics, I know, but we have a big base. Um, and also part of the problem is some of our shuttle hubs and our drone hubs were uh, short on maintenance over here, which is not a good thing at all. I'm going to bring the RC commander over here. Um, so it'll provide... A replacement for our uh, broken drone hubs temporarily. Let's see if we have a few more things up because we've got some domes not being looked after, a lot of buildings broken, and that's not going to be good for our population. We actually might get a population crash if we don't deal with this immediately. Um, the fact that these shuttles are slow and that we lost one, it's devastatingly bad that we lost the rocket uh, to that one event. Um, you, you know radius over here? You know what? I'm actually going to salvage you. There's no reason to maintain this in any way whatsoever anymore. Uh, you should go to drop desired amount. In fact, can you reach this? You can. Good. So what I'm going to do is I will actually trash this. And this, and this, and this, Meteor and incoming. this. Because I think our Resources transporter will actually pick these up if they're outside of range otherwise. But that'll free up a little bit more electronics and also free up some things that would otherwise have to be maintained by electronics. And that's going to be good. Yeah, machine parts and electronics are low. I want the Mohol project going, but we don't have the machine parts. It needs 300, which is just unbelievably huge in terms of demand. This guy's nearly here. Let's land you here. This is Sector so scan. We're going to have more of the rich metals. Not Funding received. Workers. No, we're good. You've arrived. Oh yeah, you arrived over there. So you need to be a cargo rocket. Um, I guess we're gonna have to do a mix. In fact, we may need more machine parts than electronics. I think there's a lot of um, electronic maintenance going on, but we're gonna need more machine. But, but we have more electronics production in theory. Although we're missing some people over here. It doesn't help that our sexy time dome is currently offline. We do want to upgrade this with the holographic scanner. I know we have a shortage of the electronics, but that will be really good because it's going to increase the baby making rate in this dome, um, which is important for our population to climb. Instead of it is slightly and slowly dropping right now, which is kind resources of resources are low. Are there more milestones I can reach short term? Sponsor goals. This one's still going to be tricky, and then otherwise it's just you know number of colonists. At least some of the maintenance here has happened. Probably land the shuttle over here because there's a lot of maintenance that needs to happen in this area. Um, here, though, I think I can actually get rid of this defensive turret. And maybe this one. Because we do actually have some overlapping protection. Now, some of these areas won't actually be covered from meteors, but the domes will be, which to me is fine enough. Okay, hold on. I guess I'm. J this is just highlighting the MDS. And this is just highlighting the defensive turrets. Okay. You know what? We're going to take a bunch more of these down. These are not protecting important area. I just wanted a lot here so that um, we had enough to cover uh, overlapping cover so that we could shoot, thing, shoot the enemy dr uh, drones quickly enough. But yeah, we can pop a few of those. That's going to be a lot less electronics maintenance. Plus, we're going to get some of the electronics back from disassembling you. Okay, that's actually fairly helpful. It's actually substantially helpful. I mean, you're down here, but you cover both of these domes. Uh, whereas you are a defensive turret over here, which can go away. And there's another one right in here as well, which can go away. This one needs maintenance, but it's right next to a laser. It's too bad they don't share the same radius. Spy tech, what is this? Oh, we can spend money. I I'm sorry, I have to decline. I don't have the cash. Hopefully you don't come and bite me in the ass. One of the things you can do is you can disable the events, and I don't think it increases or decreases the uh, the game difficulty or tweak achievements. It's mostly just if you prefer not to have random Sector events. Because some random events do hugely good things for you, and some do hugely bad things A for you. A colonist has died. But when we're on the cusp of, like, difficulty here... Uh, so there are some people lo dying from low health over here, but they're just seniors. Now, deaths are bad in that they reduce um, applicants... I mean, it could allow some people to work in this dome. We could put some jobs in here. But I don't know. I think I think the pure um, child and senior dome is okay. We have no seeds. Food's great. 
fact, it's gone up since the beginning of the last video, so I'm very comfortable about our food rate. I mean, we don't have that many people, so I guess it kind of makes sense. Drop off over here. Although, I just realized everything is mostly up to maintenance over here. So that's going to be okay. This drone here, uh, or it's dome. Resources it's are low. Banning kids, banning seniors, which was already applied to this dome. And that's the sexy people. We could increase the priority of this dome, but I don't think that is what we actually want to do. We're still considered to be low on electronics, which is not wrong. So we're going to be mostly Martian-born here, because we aren't bringing that many people from Earth, and some of the Earth in Earthicans are getting Earth-sick. They hop right away. Or, you know what? Maybe I should have done spy missions to steal people. That actually may have been a really strong idea there. Mm. Um, okay, I'm going to get rid of the medical center here, because I'm going to replace it with the research spire, now that we're nearly there. So I'll have to put an infirmary back in. Yeah, I like that. That's going to be very good for us. Lots of fuel. Machine parts is actually good now that I'm not building the mobile project, but we're going to have to put that back in at some point. Um, I am... I have already upgraded, I think, all of the water generators. Oh, maybe not these. Dust no, storm approaching. Because I see zero, which means we're still um, uh, using a lot of... Like, we're still using water extraction as part of our production over here. Dust storm coming soon. I think that's going to be okay. Power-wise, we're fine. We're really not reliant on the solar network anymore because we've got our wind turbines. We've got the eternal fusion, which is really mostly what we're doing. In fact, if I'm worried about machine part consumption, I could start trashing some wind turbines, but I don't think it hurts to have uh, You, your storage space is full for polymers. I mean, we do have a lot. Maybe I'll go ahead and put down a couple of polymer depots. We could cut back on the workforce over here, which wouldn't be bad. I think I will, actually. We'll free up maybe some extra workers to work in-house there. They can go somewhere else. That's going to be okay. But yeah, we have, we have lots of people missing jobs. I think we might start running some spy missions to steal people from our neighbors. I think that might actually be pretty valuable. This whole dome, this whole dome could be shut down. Let's turn that off. Turn this off. Turn off the dome. We'll just leave. Just leave. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll do this. Because you should move to another dome. We'll give you a few minutes to move to another dome. Because there's no jobs and no living place for you. Our colonists. Go, be empty. Two people. Because I keep getting messages about the crop failures too, and that will stop being a thing. Uh, you don't have any seeds. We do still theoretically try to produce seeds over here. Oh, um, it's going to use electronics, but let me control click the automation for the, uh, the farm. Uh, cancel this one. I'm going to leave this off anyway. There's still people in this dome? Usually there are. Okay. I think it's only a matter of time before they'll move to another dome, but it is a little bit annoying. Rocket's nearly back to Earth. I'm just going to bring a load of passengers. Still limited to 12. Maybe it would have been worth at this point to get the upgrade for how many passengers it can bring in one go. We bring two people. We're definitely getting a population drop. Which is to me a little weird. At this point, everything should be fairly satisfied for everyone, shouldn't it? Like, just in general, all over. You've got some extra room. Well, I built the extra parks. You're mostly complaining about social shopping, dining. I could build another diner, maybe. Trash one of these gardens, build a diner instead, because that'll supply social and dining, which are both things that are being whined about. I think we have a diner in here, but it's probably just a capacity thing. Mm -hmm. Plus, more restaurants in a place where people are going to have sexy dates, right? You have the holographic scanner, that's good. We're still waiting for the network hub. Tech rate. Wow, I was gonna say tech rate's not bad. It's pretty bad at night. Um, you know what? It's gonna cost electronics, but we have to get the zero computing upgrade. 
I mean, our electronic situation has stabilized a wee bit more. First of all, there's less maintenance now. It still says there's more maintenance than anything else. Um, theoretically, there's a little less maintenance because we did trash some of our guns. Um, There's technically a little gap in the coverage, but it's not much. 110 buildings not working. Okay, yeah, we know about those. Four station plants, yes. Oh, it's solar power plants, or er, solar power. I mean, there might be some other legitimate things too. Um, the Moxies, yes, of course, it's still a thing. But yeah, our storage should be fine. Get through the dust storm, we should be okay. Rockets coming here, won't be able to land right now anyway. Still missing a workforce on this dome. What I could do, and it might be worthwhile, is Resources to say, bring the, the priority of all domes back down to average, but increase the priority of this one, just to make sure we've always got people in here doing sexy things. Because this dome should theoretically be our highest comfort one. It's not all the way there right now. Um, shopping, I think luxury, I think... I could put down an art store. It satisfies luxury and shopping. I don't think there's a luxury satisfaction thing over here. This will eat Palmers, which we have plenty of. In fact, we have so many Palmers. I'm going to cancel the second one so that all of our Palmer places. Spire. Network node. Boom. Well worth the cost to put down there, although our electronics are looking pretty poor. Can't land right now because of the dust storm. And this is full of people, right? Yeah. Although, I might still drop you, like, over here so that you're closer to the rare metals. Although, I mean, we seem to have, because of the way we have our, um, our universal depots set up by most of our domes, a lot of them have enough that they, that they do acquire, accrue the rare metals. Right? Because, like, these guys, I guess I did reset them. I still want them to maybe have, like, the full 30. They get deliveries of rare metals. So that when we land a rocket near here, it can be filled up with rare metals and leave. But in this case, because they don't currently have that full stack of things... No, you do. And you've got the extra thing with the demand. Maybe I'll just drop you off here. A little bit centralized. New colonists you know have I'm going to go ahead and uh, up the uh, workload on our electronics production. I control clicked it, so it's going to affect uh, both of them. Look how much fuel is accumulating over here, it's ridiculous. RC driller is idle? I don't know why you didn't keep getting the metal. Did I interrupt you? Did I turn off? Well, you don't have automatic stuff, so I'm not sure. You're chilling over here. Resources are low. Goodbye. And you are ready to take off. Please do, and you'll bring another load of electronics back. Resources are low. I think we just, we have too many things requiring electronics maintenance for the size of our base. If we had more people here, we could slap a second electronics factory, which would be really nice. But we don't have the people right now. Unemployed, which is weird, because we even have empty work slots over here. Not sure what the problem's being. It might be a mismatch in job specialization and things, but I don't know. We could cancel, like, one ship. On both, I guess. I don't know, we'll leave it. Yeah, 20 electronics. That is definitely hammering things. Okay, is it time to set up a trade deal? Let's set up a trade platform. Maybe we'll set up a couple, finally. Just the automated trade ones. We're going to offer up polymers for electronics. Um, Maybe even rare metals for electronics, I don't know. We want to export polymers. We want to import electronics. We can offer food. Export food, import electronics. Something like that. All these dust storms is not helping with the maintenance. Uh, we don't have the electro scrubbers yet. Uh, I don't prioritize them as much we don't have, when we have the solar panels that are self-cleaning, which we do, but it would still help a lot. It needs to be maintained, yeah. 
definitely use an electronics delivery. Research complete. Research amplification. Probably needs electronics, unfortunately, to activate it. Um, we'll put this at the start, just cut down our dome water utilization a bit. I think we're fine on water, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to just give us a little bit more breathing space. Rocket's nearly home. We wasted so many electronics building all the RC commanders and expanding this area, like what a pain in the ass. Still, it's done now. Import more seeds, I really don't want to keep producing these for now, but at some point we can get to the thing where we can plant grass and they'll self-grow. Uh, you will give me concrete for polymers, that's not something we're interested in. I guess we could also offer up concrete as a trade in case anyone wants it. I don't expect it's going to be something Funding received. that people are looking for. Okay, you've done that. We're gonna go and uh, no, not pass me. Although, well, maybe. No. I'm going to send a bunch of electronics. Launch. We do have in the queue the compact passenger things. Smart homes might be nice to make babies a little faster. But I don't know. We'll do that, then we'll put you back in the queue, then we'll do something like that. Um, maybe I even want the bigger rockets before the water reclamation. But I feel a little safer with the water reclamation, I think, is what it comes down to. So the guys that don't have jobs, I'm just going to tell you to come, uh, you can stay there, but everyone else, come to sort of a central area and hopefully you won't get as much trouble in case you get something, you get smacked by something a million miles away. Again, that would be kind of uh, Oh, right, I built this, but we're not actually doing anything with it. Okay, well, let's do that. I'll give you the fueled extractor, because at least it's free. It just consumes fuel, that's okay. It's free to build and we have tons of fuel, that's not a problem. If I need more rare metals, there's more over here as well. We're, we've got half the machine parts we actually would need to do a mobile. I like paid import more, but... Population continues to drop. We don't like to see that. Do I have the tech to build a rocket? I don't. Okay. I mean, we could look to pursue it, but... All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, overwork the people in the machine parts factory as well. Deal with it. The building performance is pretty good. I'd open a night shift, but we don't have like we don't have the the, the room for people. So some are people complaining about being unemployed in home. Is it still here in this dome? Like, do I just turn off the dome? I don't know. People, fine. Fine, we'll leave you on. I'll upgrade you with automation, though. We'll cheat some electronics, but I'm gonna be okay. Uh, oh, this thing is done. Salvage you. Resources are low. Now we're low on electronics. Stop yelling at me, game. I'm trying my best. But yeah, we just built so many things. Oh, this thing could go. We can salvage some parts. And have one less thing to maintain with electronics. No, we don't have a split power grid. I just clicked badly. Give me a loan game. Resources are low. Here. Paradox is going to scan anomaly. It's for just one we need for, like, medics to reveal more technology or something like that. It's not one we actually care about in any way. Research complete. Water reclamation system. Bunch of electronics. I guess I'll just drop you here. That's going to be okay. Again, it's got the storage for the electronics, so it's a good place to drop things off. Colonists are departing. That's probably going to give us enough electronics to not worry about the bottleneck anymore. Because again, our electronics production should be fine. You can see here this soul is going to be twice as many as we consume. We just needed a buffer so that there's enough stored all over the place that nothing like terribly wacky goes on. Now the big thing is going to be bringing in uh, machine parts. Although the, our count is going up, which is good. Um, but paying money to import some machine parts so that we can get our mohole project before the last of maybe our rich metals expire. Although we have a couple more over here. They're both average output as well, which is decent. And we don't have to, you know, work them with anyone. You can just put automated mines or I could just use the, uh, the digger. Although the advantage of the mines, they don't waste as many resources. We have some metal, not a lot of metal, but we have some. Alright, you're ready to go. 
Yeah, I should probably just go... Oops. Before it's an issue. Uh, get a couple of uh, rare metals extractors. It's going to dust regardless here. There. There. Power connector. Like so. And where's my... That's... Come on. Look here. Thank you. Research Large complete. Done, done, done. Compact passenger mo module is nice, because we are going to bring some more people home from Earth. Yeah, we're under 200 people now. Um, I know I was talking about doing spy missions. I think I should have just done that. We might get more people doing this. And it won't take as long, so we're not actually making the whole trip back and forth to Earth. Yeah, maybe. I don't care about the anomaly. I don't care about that. Buildings not working. Our buildings without Research people. complete. Smart homes. Smart should be okay here. Martianborn's 145. I'm gonna try to keep an eye on that number. We also have a lot of seniors. That's the thing is, our population dropping might be a little, um, a little bit deceptive because it might just be our badly treated seniors over here who are dying. And you're full of stored concrete. I think mean, I can put down some extra concrete storage. I guess I will, just to give it a minute. There, done. We have tons of storage now for that. Okay. Yeah, but again, probably seniors. Oh, hmm. And the comfort has dropped spectacularly no here for the Okay, what research we're going to do is complete. for all the domes, we're going to bring them to medium priority. And this dome is going to be high priority. Um, automated storage is done. Okay, stem reconstruction will keep people alive and around longer. We'll get you upgraded as well. I think some amount of comfort stuff might be good. I mean, we can do fancy domes too. But I think what I might like is a bunch of terraform tech tech. So, okay, hold on. Let's do that. One time, but might be nice. Lakes, we gotta get the temperature up high enough. No, we'll take a cash injection, because that might turn out to be useful. Yeah, hopefully more people will move into this dome. Oh, we're back up to 144 Martian born. So we did actually have another one born. Yeah, often when I set up the uh, the sex dome, <laughs> I'm used to the population shooting up like crazy. But the problem is, I think the comfort buildings maybe aren't being um, supplied with enough people often enough. That might be a bit of an issue. Dust storm approaching. I just I could actually add some more upvotes to make sure things are happen. Are the youth? I mean, they're fine. Like I think. From youth to middle age, they are exactly equivalent. I increase the priority. It's possible with my career AI mod, it's not actually moving people in here as quickly as possible. It's Funding also possible received. that... Um, wow, we don't actually even have enough people here. I'm going to stop the night shift. It's possible that because a lot of the, the service buildings need unspecialized people, maybe we're educating people too quickly. I mean, there's still a lot of needs for specializations, but we need we need more people who are not specialized. But we can bring 10, 22 people for per dose right now. Maybe I just want to bring non-specialized people, but I don't know. It seems it seems foolish. We still want all of our work sites to work more efficiently, right? Okay, it is nice to see the machine parts are continuously going up, which indicates that um, yeah, we'll we'll be able to build a mohole project at some point. Electronics are stable. They, they were really stable the whole time. They just felt low. And there wasn't enough of a supply evenly spread everywhere, so we we're having maintenance issues. But that's no longer an issue. Our food is totally fine. It's literally just workforce stuff. I wonder how much it takes to actually build the rock. Is that here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we haven't unlocked anything else for terraforming. 
Right, we got greenhouse gas going, so the temperature is rising. And that's it. The carbonates actually, I think, do they do oxygen or heat? Uh, that's core heat. That's not what I'm looking for. Right here. Uh, they do do the atmosphere. Which would be fairly nice to see. Uh, conservation landscape is right. The waste rock tweak. We don't care about that. The projects we do kind of want to unlock. Vitation. You know what? Actually, let me make a little tweak here. Boom, boom, boom. After stem reconstruction, that's when we're going to unlock the carbonate processor. And then... Do something like that. Okay, I think I'm okay with this. Dust storm coming soon. Unfortunately, the dust storm will arrive before a passenger thing will. And our colonist count keeps going down. But yeah, I think it's a lot of people dying of old age. The stem reconstruction may help a lot. I don't know if it'll un-old age anyone. We'll see. And then again over here. Yeah, we're we're falling below our critical mass of passengers. And it looks like you can't just turn off domes and get them to focus in a particular area. Which is really too bad. We need a ton more people. That's the only thing we need, is just a ton more people. Not having the second rocket is killing us right now, because we could be running two. But the long travel time and only one rocket is killing us, because we can't keep up our critical mass of population. I think it's 3,000, 3, yeah, 3,000 million, or 3 billion, to get a new rocket. Maybe I, I just keep sending the passenger rockets, they keep getting their, you know, rare metals exported. Um, which we do we do drop off over here with our rockets, so that's going to be okay. And yeah, the dust storm, well, I don't know, maybe it'll arrive. It'd be really nice to get our passengers down here before the dust storm sets in. We might even be able to launch before, no, we're not going to be able to launch. Well, there's a chance. It's really going to come down to how quickly my drones can work. We know what you have until it says zero hours. So... Maybe. New colonists have arrived. Some people are departing. Colonists are departing. That sucks. One hour, zero hours, but we don't have the fuel. And now it's set in. If I tried to launch now, we can't. Okay. Just barely missed, but missed nonetheless. Yeah, all the dust storms are increasing our maintenance a fair bit. Yeah, see, the population just don't. I, I don't think. With my career mod, it may not be paying attention to some of these priority settings the same way. Don't get me wrong, the career mod is really good in generally doing the right thing. But, maybe, you know what, I'm going to shut down the Martian University. The people, instead of, that's right, okay. I don't think we're screwing ourselves by not having enough unspecialized people, but right now we need people to actually work rather than getting schooling. I'll open up that shift, because when I turn it back on, I'll want it. Right now we just need them filling in these basic jobs so that we can have enough comfort in this dome here to get the babies making. I mean, obviously, if it was a geoscape dome or whatever it's called, then this one, the comfort would be you know, that much higher Research all the time. complete. This is service building social. That's not true. We definitely have social buildings. Yeah, it was just full or they were trying to go at night. Stem reconstruction will help us a lot with our population. Carbonate processor is a big research, but we'll start building up atmosphere. And I think when we get to 50% atmosphere, we'll no longer get dust storms. And that's going to save us a ton of trouble. Yeah, resource-wise, we're fine. I like that the machine parts is going up, despite the fact we only have one place uh, making machine parts for us. Um, and we do, we do unfortunately, are uh, forcing them to work, you know, extra hard there. But if we can get up to 300, we can get the mohole mine. Not that we're complaining about raw materials, and maybe I'm, I'm overstressing about that. Maybe I should be looking to unlock other wonders first. You know? I think I still am very happy about the carbonate processor. I think we're going to do that one first. Now, increasing the atmosphere will make the solar panels work even less, but we're not really worried about them. They need some metal for maintenance, which isn't a huge deal. Um, I mean, we're not sitting on infinite metal in our uh, count over here, um, and that will be the thing the Mohole Project actually fixes for us. But we're, you know, sort of free mining that thing, which is okay. Oh, we've got this thing over here. That is set correctly. How about these? These are not. So, I think I need to just make sure all the ships and then turn off the warp slots. Um, we'll give you all the fueled extractor. I guess I have the electronics. I could amplify you. But I'm not too worried about the pace of these right now. 
Plus, this one might not be worth upgrading because it's pretty low, but this one does have a lot of resources in there. Maybe I'll give you the full upgrade package. Congratulations. Sanity breakdown. Uh, we're going to send some drones to take care of that. It's going to destroy some drones, which is unfortunate. But I can't afford to kill people. Although I think that one got taken down, which is too bad. That's what happens with the sanity breakdowns, baby. It's really poor. Yeah, so that's off, and we're okay with it. Uh, dust storm is done. So this can be launched. Oh, it's still some food. Hang on. So why isn't it bugging me about, uh, you know, why can't you put this again? Because it can't actually eat, but still get some food in it. Oh shit, this farm was sitting on a ton of food. Probably not even producing. Wow! Okay. One of the nice things about the terraforming, and what I'd like to do next game, whenever that happens, is a very terraform first and tourism oriented game. As, as you know, hardcore as possible. Um, which will probably require, you know, a much easier starting location and an appropriate, you know, sponsor plus um, background kind of vibe that makes it that much easier for us. But yeah, I, I would like to look into something kind of like that. And yeah, I might not spend any money on anything. It's like, right now we're stalling. It would be nice to buy a bunch of machine parts so that we can get our mobile project up faster. But it's not like I'm, I'm uh, hurting for it right now. I think I need to just accumulate money to buy another rocket. You know. Or, depending on how oh, the material, maybe it's better to just build our own. Could be. Put it in a queue for now, we'll see. No food, that's going to be at this dome, which is fine. It's working as intended. Martian worn count. I mean, it's at least stable-ish. And this dome is feeling much better. 71 comfort. It's whining about some stuff that definitely exists, but the comfort's better. A lot of people are getting their, their comfort satisfied. Just maybe not literally every single day, because sometimes it's overfilled. But the comfort is definitely high enough that this dome is going to be making babies for us. Um, throwing more people in might help. That's the one thing with this dome being small. Maybe our birth rates aren't where we want them. So we may still want to make another sexy dome um that is you know in that is bigger and the geodesic dome, dome or geoscape dome or whatever it's called might be the path for that well i guess it's time to put in a cut so i will go ahead and do that the marsgate thing took so much longer and tons of resources like we had to expand all to this area and build these extra freaking drone hubs in areas that don't really do anything for us i mean i guess we're doing some water mining over here so that's a thing I guess that's okay but yeah we don't really there wasn't any real reason to expand over here and part of me is wondering if i should just go and trash all this stuff and get our material back but at least we've got the tunnels so we can access everywhere so if we get meteor storms that drop resources somewhere on the map we can pick them up and that's going to be okay i'm not complaining overall about our science rate that's okay although it'd be nice to get a few more people in there oh um oh okay this can use more power but that's okay amplify i didn't realize on the labs just uses polymers oh i should have done that right away Polymers and a ton of electricity. Um, I might want another fusion reactor to increase our counts. So far, so good. Uh, yes, you're still missing on seeds. I know. Okay, this Funding is received. very quickly. Funding received. Rocket is definitely going to keep coming with more passengers. 22 at a, at a go now. At least we're back over 200, temporarily anyway. Um, and there's no reason for us to buy anything. And yeah, the only wonder I can build right now is the mobile mine. Right, okay. The carbonate processors are going to be nice. We'll find a spot for them. Um, I might build, end up building them over here. And I'll just set a desired amount for these dumping sites so that any rock we're picking up anywhere on the surface are just going to get delivered over here. And we're going to turn that all into oxygen, which is going to be fairly swell. At least the temps are going. At some point, we will get, um, we will get uh, the water melting. We'll start getting toxic rain and stuff, but ultimately going to become okay. That's a lot of Earth's colonists. I think a lot of the domes are simply not getting the comfort. I mean, some of the Earth's colonists might be my uh, my retirees, which is okay. They can totally leave. I don't care about that. In fact, some people make these senior domes and cut off the oxygen from time to time to purge all the seniors if food is a problem, which it isn't for us. We're sitting on a ton of food. That's not an issue. You know what I just realized? And I always forget about this. I don't think it's a problem right now, but... Yeah, it's not a problem exactly. 
Seeds don't go in the Universal Depot. I always forget about this. We need to make a seed storage specifically. It hasn't been a problem because we do have um, a drone hub and we've got, we've got this forestation plant within range of these seeds. So the seeds are being consumed and not backlogged, but it could long term have been an issue. So we definitely want to make sure we've got a seed depot by places where we produce seeds and we'll need a few more somewhere else. This atmosphere is a thing. We've got our carbonate processor. Yeah, I think I'm gonna build them over here. Let me do that and then we'll put a cut in here. Uh, what am I looking for? Terraforming, carbonate processor. I don't remember if this is the thing that does the, the earth the quakes or no, I think that's core heating. I don't remember. Powered here? I think so. Yeah. Okay. So we'll excellent. And then yeah, I'll just set you know desired amounts on one of them so that our shuttles actually do deliver things. But we'll get three. Um, no, I think the carbonates do do. It doesn't say anything about it. Maybe it's the magnetic fields do the Mars quakes. I don't know. It'll it'll be an issue that'll be you know we'll have to deal with at some point. Um, but this is going to start generating a little atmosphere for us, which is overall going to be very, very, very good. Population's 2 of 3, Martian-born 147, so our Martian-born count is going up. It's slow, but it's definitely going up. And so, you know, that's at least something. And yeah, I think shutting down the school has, is going to help with our workforce a little bit, because it's, it's freeing up more workers, and that's going to be okay. Alright folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.